The second update of 3DS Max 2018 brings an improved spline workflow with the addition of several new spline modifiers. The new spline tools can be used to create and animate geometry in several intuitive ways. For example, you can draw splines freehand directly in the viewport. The spline can then be refined with a spline relax modifier. This function smooths out spline knots and their associated handles. This tool can also be applied based on soft selection values. If the spline has a certain thickness, you can use the spline overlap modifier to detect self-overlapping splines and adjust the displacement of the intersecting segments, creating an overlap or piling effect. Use the spline as a morpher to animate objects. The spline morph modifier morphs multiple splines using two unique methods. Use the spline normalize tool to match the number of vertices on both splines that will be used to morph. The normalized spline modifier adds or removes control points in the spline at regular intervals. Enhancements to the standard normalized spline provide several advanced options, including the ability to specify knot count as well as optionally retain nearby knots within a certain tolerance. Then morph both splines using either the progressive or blended morphing options, which can easily be animated. Update 2 also includes an extensive update to Path Deform. Most notably, this modifier operates in object space, such that the modified object conforms to the selected spline path. Explore the ability to animate the twist along the path of the spline for creative results. Add to your modeling and animation skill set with a collection of spline-related tools which includes freehand, normalized spline, optimized spline, an updated version of Path Deform, Spline Influence and Influencer Helper, Spline Mirror, Spline Morph, Spline Overlap, and Spline Relax.